Ross Feingold is a political analyst, joins us now live from Taipei. Ross, good to have you with us. So uh, tariffs on Chinese imports uh, have been delayed. Stock prices are up. This all sounds like pretty good news. Most people in the business community, certainly in China and generally in the United States, would welcome an agreement and a ceasefire in what's now commonly called a trade war. Not everyone will be happy with the details of the agreement. There's certainly going to be some parties in the business world who feel that they didn't achieve the access that they wanted or the protections for intellectual property that, that they are seeking. However, uh, President Trump has established a track record of negotiating better deals than what his predecessors had. And we saw that with the South Korea free trade agreement to which changes were made. And we've seen that with the North American free trade agreement to which changes are made and the ongoing negotiations with other major trading partners. So uh, although some people might not be happy with what the agreements uh, ultimately will say, uh, it's clear that President Trump's team does have a good record of achieving more than the starting point. So is this a big victory for Trump? Has he won this trade war? Well, again, because there's some issues that uh, won't be resolved in this round of agreements, there are some long running concerns with China's uh, behavior, uh, whether it's domestic, economic uh, entry barriers or support for state owned enterprises that are able to sell goods cheaply overseas. And again, the, the concerns about intellectual property theft, it, it would be difficult to achieve a, a a total resolution of all these items in the upcoming agreements. So again, there, there are going to be critics. And of course, partisan politics being what it is in the United States, there will probably be some critics in, in the Congress as well, certainly among Democrats and maybe a few Republicans. But on the other hand, I think we're going to see a lot of Republicans and actually many Democrats are going to be happy with the agreement simply because it will give better access for U.S. products. And that's something that all congressmen are going to support. So what happens next, Ross? There's talk of a summit between Trump and President Xi. Well, bo both leaders are looking to have a summit where they could sign these agreements and, and it'll come with a, a lot of fanfare, obviously a lot of international press coverage, and it's something that they could sell to their domestic stakeholders. But the interesting thing about having this summit sometime in the next month or so is that there are these other issues. It, it, the relationship is not simply about how much agricultural goods or, or other types of products from the United States that China will import. There's obviously many other concerns in the bilateral relationship, whether it's uh, sovereignty disputes in the South China Sea, the human rights concerns, religious persecution. Uh, so there's a number of issues that United, the United States uh, will not be satisfied with uh, wh whatever comes out of this round of trade agreements, and, and those will not be resolved in the medium term either. Uh, so we have to see how much of the agenda at the summit is trade and how much is going to be these other issues that cannot be resolved in trade agreements. Ross, good to speak with you. Thank you. Ross Feingold there in Taipei.